This review is of the Nexigo N60 1080p full high definition webcam. Um, there's really not a lot to tell you about it. Supposedly, Next Nexite Incorporated is based in Oregon, and supposedly Nexigo is a U.S. based company, but the product is made in China. He has a privacy cover, hundred uh, plug and play microphone, and <clears throat> let's see, it has uh, I believe five languages in the manual, and that's it. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the product. Okay, um, so it comes with a manual which includes English, Spanish, Italian, French, and German. And important safety notes, welcome to the next Go family, contact information. There is webcam setting software where all of our, um, and you can get that at nextgo.com slash software. And apparently it looks like that. And you can use that to set Let's see here. Um, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, white balance. Um, what does that one say? Gamma, backlight comp, gain, and uh, power line frequency, 50 or sorry, yeah, 50 or 60 hertz. You can save your presets. You can load them. Um, you can do previews. There is a. There are three tabs: um, processing, controls, and links. Let's see if I can find more information on that. Oh, that's so much easier to read. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, ah, it does not show the other two uh, tabs, sadly. Uh, let's see, full noise reduction microphone, activity indicators, privacy cover. You can mount it on a tripod, five and a quarter inch tripod, flexible clip base, and it only comes with the three things. So here's the privacy cover, which is not attached. Um, it kind of clips on. And here is the product with a protector for the USB connector, which is USB-A, not C. Um, this is one of the less expensive brands, I think, or models. I think I paid like 20 something dollars for this particular one. Um, So you can put this on like your monitor and adjust the positioning of these pieces so that it will not fall off the monitor and then plug it into your computer. Um, that's about it for that. Let's see, here are the specifications. And we've got resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. Ooh, that's pretty poor. 1280 by 720 at 30 frame per, frames per second. And 640 by 480 but at 30 frames per second. 30 frames, frames per second should be enough. But if you're going to do like any slowdown of the um, frames per second in your video uh, roll, you're going to have a problem. So yeah, a uh, little bit of a problem there. So it's not gonna be good for, for uh, uh, slow motion replay. Uh, image sensor, one half, huh? one per 2.9 inch CMOS digital image sensor, object distance 19.7 to 118.1 inches. Uh, let's see, field of view. D equals 110 degrees, H is 89 degrees, V is 48 degrees. Application support, chat software, Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Hangouts, etc. Streaming software, open broadcaster software, and XSplit. 
Oh, by the way, OBS is um, uh, a good choice. There's another one that's paid, and it is actually OBS. They stole it from OBS, basically. I can't remember the name. Um, photo or video using system camera app, camera for Windows, photo booth for Mac OS. OS. System requirements, Windows 7, 8, 10, or 11 or above, Mac OS 10.6 or above, Chrome OS version 29.01547 or above. And yeah, it shows how to place the camera and <laughs> how to plug it into the USB. Yeah. Viewing your camera in Windows, well, obviously you're just going to open up the camera app and in Mac you're going to open it up in there, let's see, video client requirements, I already talked about that, FCC requirement, W-E-E-E, -E -E. and FAQ. If you plug it in and you can see it through your camera app, then it's working. What can I do if the images or video are an abnormal color? Okay. Really, there's... There's nothing, uh, I don't know how I feel about using their software. <clears throat> I'm always nervous about using software from companies I don't know about, let alone the ones I do. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna plug this into my system and we're gonna see what it looks like on my screen for playback. But before we do that, let's install the uh, privacy cover. I suggest you open up the privacy cover so you can actually align this properly with the, the lens. And yeah, that's pretty easy to do. All done. All right, so here we go. This is, I just did this recording and you can hear the sound quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now I'll turn it up a bit so that you can hear it better. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so that seems, the quality of the image is really very good. I'm impressed with that and the sound seems to be pretty good. I did check it with my headphones and it sounded good on my headphones as well. But let's just do a real-time test where I'm moving around and uh, there's no lag that I can discern. And yeah, so this actually is, so far at least, I mean, hopefully it isn't going to be like the, the other camera that I had that slowly died. Um, but so far, this is really very good. Um, I, I can't complain. I mean, my, my monitor is 1080p. So do you see a problem with it? It seems to be doing a really good job of catching the background there and everything. So yeah, nice. So I would say initially, you know, this not knowing what's going to happen six months down the road, a year down the road, two years down the road. I would say that um, this seems to be really good and I'll give it a, um, the sound could be better. So I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I almost forgot to mention it's on a ball joint. So you can adjust the direction and angle and everything. Not bad. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.